What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade again here for you. And today I'm gonna to be talking about iExec RLC, blockchain computing, and how it relates to AWS and Google Cloud. What is it, why was it built, and how it relates to Polkadot success and more. But before I jump into the content, I just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto updated for 2021. It's 100% free, so check it out in the description below and will also be pinned in the comments. All right, let's check this out. All right, guys, welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about the future of Polkadot and its impacts on the crypto ecosystem. However, I am going to talk about iExec RLC and the project I have been accumulating for some time and how it will change the cloud hosting ecosystem and help decentralize the entire internet. This is actually really exciting as there are a lot of projects that we're gonna be covering here. So stay tuned and subscribe because some of these projects can make you lots of money very quickly if you play your cards right. All right, so let's talk about what iExec RLC is and what they are trying to do with the project. According to their own website, iExec is a decentralized cloud computing marketplace, but why does it need to be decentralized exactly? Well, what is iExec RLC? Decentralized cloud computing sounds like a beautiful combination of buzzwords used to hype up a product, doesn't it? Well, don't worry, iExec has substance to back up the buzz. And if this is the first time you've heard about that project, that makes sense, the team isn't that big on hype. As this guide's title spells out, iExec is a platform for decentralized cloud computing. So think IBM or Microsoft Cloud Services, but broken up into multiple nodes for off-chain computing of blockchain applications iExec is a French startup that launched in 2017 with the goal of creating a fully decentralized cloud storage platform. It's a similar concept to Golem, which is supercomputing, and Sia Coin, which is cloud storage, except it's using cloud services for processing power. Its target audience is the blockchain realm itself and its budding ecosystem of dApps. The state of cloud computing. Let's talk about it. But before we break down how iExec functions, it'd be useful to look at the centralized cloud computing as it stands today. Cloud computing has quickly become an industry standard for companies that want access to processing power without having to maintain expensive technological infrastructures themselves. Companies like Netflix, Apple, Etsy, and Xerox, for instance, manage some or all of their applications and data with cloud computing from companies like Amazon, AWS, Google, IBM, or Microsoft. The reason is simple. If these companies already have tens of thousands of servers to support data intensive computations, why not outsource their processing power? Simply put, these services give businesses access to otherwise expensive resources. iExec wants to provide the same service but they want to decentralize it. And the way we win is by creating a new, democratic, decentralized internet. The market for this industry was 22.4 billion in 2016, and it's projected to reach 55 billion by 2026. More or less, the big players have cemented themselves as reliable providers, so why would iExec try to disrupt an industry that seems to be set in stone? The simple answer being, they're not trying to. Instead, they want to be for decentralized applications what popular cloud computing services are for legacy businesses. The one-stop resource for blockchain cloud computing. You might be asking, why does blockchain need this? Glad you asked. There's a brilliant article on the subject by Noam Levinson and Alex Prince for Hacker Noon on the specific subject, and I'll link that down below. Basically, if any of the smart contracts built on Ethereum or any DApp platform want to function properly in real world use, they'll need access to more than computing than the Ethereum virtual machine provides itself. Ethereum's virtual machine houses and executes smart contract on networks nodes and mining programs. As DApps 
and smart contracts see wider adoption and widespread use, running all these computations through Ethereum's blockchain would create a latency slash scalability disaster of such magnitude that would render the network useless. Just look at what a few million dollars worth of crypto kitties did to Ethereum in a matter of days. Essentially, iExec wants to create a network of computing resources that will allow the Ethereum ecosystem to scale its potential in the future. How does iExec RLC work? If the platforms that host the dApps are unable to support the computing power needs, how does iExec expect to offer support for all the computing power of dApps and smart contracts? By taking them off chain so that all the on-chain functions can continue running smoothly. To accomplish this, iExec makes use of an open source desktop grid software called Extreme Web HEP. This application pools all available computing resources and makes them available to the applications and platforms. According to the white paper released by iExec, they can make this possible on a global scale, including support for fault tolerance, multi-applications, multi-users, hybrid public slash private infrastructure, deployment of virtual images data, data management, security, and accountability, and many more that I haven't named. That sounds better than watching Vitalik rap on stage about proof of stake and Ethereum 2.0. Proof of stake is hard, but what I do know is when we weren't a shard, we'll change the whole hey. game, though. E2.0, e yo. E2.0, yo. E2.0, yo. E2.0, yo. E2.0, yo. E2 yo. E2 yo. yo. E2 yo. 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 Shot 3, BLS, Lamport, and all of this crypto just sets the stage for Merkle proofs, plasma chains, clap, clap. Seeking snarks coming over, clap, clap. Privacy scaling in a snap, snap. Constant products, oracles, tap, tap. Let's talk iExec tokenomics. Now that we know what the project is and what it aims to solve, here's some of the tokenomics of its native token, RLC, which stands for run on lots of computers. The RLC token is the native token of the iExec platform and acts as the currency used to access the infrastructure services. 87 million coins were minted when the platform was launched and no more will ever be created. Users wanting to access storage services use RLC to pay workers who provide the processing power. Built on Ethereum blockchain, the iExec technology uses open source software that allows it to engage smart contracts and decentralized apps or dApps to give access to the breadth of computing resources. Let's talk about some of the iExec partnerships. There are a number of important partnerships and collaborations that iExec has entered into recently. These include a broad swath of corporations in different industries. Here are a few of the recent partnerships. Intel. iExec and Intel have collaborated on 5G services. For example, they have recently showcased how blockchain technology and Intel's SGX trusted execution can provide fully decentralized and autonomous solutions for smart cities. IBM. The IBM Cloud joined iExec and IBM Worker Pool has been made available on the iExec network. EDF. iExec has recently announced that it has partnered with EDF to optimize its cloud computing infrastructure. EDF is the largest utility provider in France. Now, those are some pretty impressive partnerships right out of the gate. But what about the true players? Google Cloud and Amazon AWS. Well, according to this recent tweet, iExec was recently accepted into AWS Activate, which is a startup support program and hints towards the beginning of a new relationship. And what about Google Cloud? Nick, I got it. Google, you got us a job at Google? Well, they are already ahead of Amazon here. Per a press release in July 2020, Google announced its confidential computing program beta release. iExec is proud to have joined the program and have been working on the project since the alpha release. iExec will offer enterprise in the context of confidential computing with blockchain and will present work and use cases alongside Google in the future. So what happens when you connect an early stage crypto project with two of the largest corporations on the planet? We're about to find out. All right, guys, so what do you think? Are you gonna take a second look here at accumulating some RLC? If not, are you gonna try now? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this project. And then go ahead and click right here in the top right corner to watch my video on Compound as there's some news that ties right into this video topic here. See you guys in that video. Crypto Renegade out.